I love this time of year. Tomato harvest. I can hardly even sell any of them. I just eat them all. Don't tell. Welcome back to the channel, guys. We're heading down the Plum Forest Trail to move the cows today. Oh, you hear them? You hear them? They know I'm coming. They know I'm on my way. So I'm super pumped to share with you some farm updates. If we are just meeting for the first time, I'm Brian. This is Bidwell Canyon Farm, and this is our channel. This is our pasture. These are not our cows, but we do take care of them and manage them for about five or six months out of the year. Well, you can definitely see they've been over here. Oh my goodness. Those are nice pats. Good morning, guys. Hi, Panda. How you doing? You guys want to move? You want to move? All right. Let's go for it. Hey, Madonna. Morning, sweetie. Here comes the crew. They're ready to move. They've done a pretty good job in here. They've been in here for three days now, so I'm gonna just bump them over one more. Here she comes. Here comes the boss. Just telling them it's okay. In today's video, I wanna catch you up on all the things that have been happening around the farm. There's so many updates. I mean, it's been so long since I posted anything. It's crazy. We have a bunch of new baby chicks. I'll be showing you those. Give you an update on the baby goats. Showing you all the gardens. The tomatoes are off the chain. The summer squash is coming on. The zooks, cukes, it's bananas. We're not growing bananas, but it is bananas what's happening. So we just moved the cows. Let's head back up to the gardens and I'll give you the full tour. Our family has been farming here for about eight years now, and we are dedicated to building our soil and our community using regenerative agriculture practices, no or low till methods, no spray, absolutely not. We are living our dream right now, and we couldn't be happier. I'm crawling around in the caterpillar tunnel. I wanted to show you these tomatoes. They're just going gangbusters in here. They're looking really good, except I found something that was a little curious. It looks as though someone has been nibbling on our tomatoes. It's not cool, whoever's doing that. I think it's probably a rabbit or a squirrel. I love these little yellow ones. They're called lemon drops. Mmm, they're so good. I'm sorry, it's been so long since I posted a video. We've been super busy. We got new bees. We've been moving animals. I've been doing construction projects. Leah has been gardening like crazy. The girls have been helping so much. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below, giving us a thumbs up. That is always good. I think the more thumbs up these videos get, the farther they travel in the world, which is cool. And the more tomatoes I eat, the stronger I become. I wish you guys could taste these. I'm gonna get a bellyache. Just epic tomato year. So one thing we found about the caterpillar is it's just not quite suited to handle tomatoes. We thought these were determinants on the edge, but I don't know. They don't look super determinate to me. And we can't even close the caterpillar anymore. We just leave it open. So this is kind of the scene. This is sunshine. Sunshine. She has a um, less dark beak. And less her, dark. Um, egg tooth is barely visible. And she has more yellow in between her two feathers. Okay. And then she's more crazy, kind of like a rooster. Uh-oh. This is Olive. Olive? Um, Hi, it's Olive. a potential rooster and potential non-rooster. So, I don't know what it's going to be. We'll just and call her a she for now. Yeah, she's sweet. She's a sweetie. And then the last one's one of my favorites. Come here, lemon. 
There she goes. She's going to grab Lemon. Good girl. She's probably most likely a pen. She's really calm. Come on, girl. And so she lemon. has a darker beak and more gray. Oh, uh, yeah. This is my probably most crazy one. Whoa. It's Ozzy. Hey, Ozzy. Oh. And it's most probably a rooster. Okay, most likely a rooster for Ozzy. It's okay. It's okay. Roadrunner. Hey, Roadrunner. And then my most favorite. Most favorite chick. The most poofiest one. The poofiest and most favorite. Robin Hood. Hey, Robin Hood. Whoa, where'd he you loves, go, Robin Hood? He loves belly rubs. Oh, Robin Hood. You're cute. Wow. He's going to sleep. Or she. Hey. Nice to meet you, Robin Hood. Good morning! Hello! Baby update! There's Budgie with a little spot on her jaw. And Boo, they are getting so big, so healthy. Such little cute baby goats. Gladys the mama doing awesome. Melina, awesome. And Izzy and Kygo, awesome. Love you guys. All right, ready to do a milk? Let's go. Okay, today we're gonna do some farm calisthenics. We're gonna work the forearms today. So just go ahead and grab your teats and let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can feel the burn. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep it going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not even close to halfway done yet, ladies. Keep it up. Six, seven, eight. Pick it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job, ladies. Whoa. Let's let the babies out. Are you guys ready? You ready? <laughs> Oh, you're so ready. Okay, let's go. Babies, come on. Come on, whoa. Let's go. Hi, boys. Hi, good morning. Good morning, my sweet boys. Hi. Hi, guys. Okay, go get some food. Go. <laughs> Give you guys a quick hoop house walk through. Our cucumbers are doing awesome. Tomatoes, very good. Peppers. These are absolutely dreamy. They're called Aranos, and they are one of my favorites. Look at that beauty, so good. We have this attic fan laying around and figured we'd better mount it in the hoop house to keep things cool because it was getting really hot. Something's been eating the peppers.
Hey, you guys want to make some money? I'll give you 10 bucks each. If you vacuum and wash the Subaru super, super good. You want to? Yeah. Okay, 10 bucks each. All right. Life is so good. Now that my girls are old enough to like do all my chores, I can just relax. This is epic. Dang, these girls know how to clean. Look at this. They straight up pulled all the mats out. What's this? What the heck? That's like a door. What the heck? Dude. Whoa, guys. Whoa, whoa, hold on. What are you doing? Well, dude, I, I just meant like vacuum the seats. This is, you, you stripped it down. Holy. What? Three quarters wrench. The heck? You pulled the headliner out? No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. We got to take this down to Subaru.